posted on his Instagram stories going around the internet that he gonna smoke bud and he moving to 154 pounds. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, push chance for notifications. We go live or drop a video. So yeah, he said that you know he go smoke bud and he moving up to 54. My thing is. He should have said that shit at the press conference yesterday. Shit. He should have said that at the press conference. Like, I'm we gonna smoke bud, I'm moving up to 54. Right? Because when they ask him, you know, is the rematch gonna be at 54? He keeps saying, like, oh no. But if you beat Bud, I mean, and you know, that's what you got in mind, then if Bud wants the rematch, it's gonna happen at 54 unless they put some type of, you know, funny language in there where Bud don't get no rematch or whatever, or unless Bud just simply don't want the rematch. He get his ass whooped that bad. And maybe they ain't not the ram of possibility. Don't know. Don't know. But, like I said before, I mean, you know, not, not in particular to this subject, but just for reference point, don't say nothing on social media that you won't say to a nigga face or a chick face. You know, if you tweet it or you post it, you whatever it, be prepared to say it to his face. I know he said, yeah, we smoking on bud and all that stuff and that corn, that boring ass back and forth. They could have just kept that. But they, they came to face to face yesterday, didn't they, or no? Nah? But he said he moving up. Now, could it be an excuse? Well, you know, I I, I want to know if this ninja lose, both of these ninjas lose. What's so funny, too, about it, Um, at the press conference, a little Q&A they did with the media. What was so funny about it, what, right, was, I'm going to speak on this, too. What was so funny about it was, he said, oh, when Terrence Crawford lose, they're going to be making excuses and, he he was this and he was that. Like I said before, dude, I cannot stand this dude. I cannot stand Earl Spitz. I want to know if he lose, is he going to make excuses? Or is he going to own, own it up like a man? Because he already making excuses. Let's keep it real. He already making excuses. But let me pause on that and get back to that. Because he talking about, yeah, you don't smoke bud. I'm going to 54 and... and it, Dude, you know, what he going to say is, well, I stayed a little bit too late to weight class. That's what he going to say. That's what he kind of setting up for. Then he was like, you know, or, or everything I've been through, uh, uh, I should be the underdog. Even though that nigga talked like Biggie when he was running in Notorious. When they was running from the police and his boy took the rap for him. You know, uh, uh, you know everything that I've been through. I I I I sure, but I uh, <laughs> nigga sound like he got a retainer and a cock in his mouth. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> nigga, they asked the nigga, you got them new mouthpiece, and they niggas want to make sure he covering every base because you already know fight height. You know what I'm saying? All the media want Earl to win. They got some. They got some allegiance to Al Heyman. Because they feel like if they diss Al Heyman, they won't get credentialed or whatever. Master Al has been so good to me. So they all, low-key, man, they all, they all be hating on Bud, bro. I already know what be going on in the media room. Well, he won't give me no interview, or he won't give me an interview back in 2017. He wouldn't, like. And once Earl make an excuse, excuse, it's going to be accepted and celebrated if he loses. Well, you know, he went through a car accident, self-inflicted. Who told you to be out there smoking that smoke, drinking that drink, gang banging? Well, you smoke, you're going to be on July 29th. You might hit that bud. You need to say a marinated bud. Boy, I would have said it. Boy, you about to hit this lace blunt. <laughs> you about to hit this lace bud. You about to be like Smo uh, Smokey and Debo's pitching, uh, pigeon coop. That's what I'm going to have you in the pigeon coop like Mo3 had you turned upside down in your car. Yeah, nigga, I'm that disrespectful. 
Yeah, I'm crossing that line, nigga. I'm selling a million points. I'm selling a million pay per views off my mouthpiece. Ain't no, I ain't no, ain't no, ain't, ain't too much respect in the art of war. It's honor, but ain't gonna be no respect given. You gotta earn that shit. And they trash talk. You ain't cut you no fishing pole with Moby Dick. Sound like you in the third grade. The, the, the shit, the preschool, y'all having the fucking trash talk. They should let AB write that shit. AB and shit, I don't know. And Blair Cobb ghost right for them ninjas. That was better off just not saying that. was better off just do that shit. It was like a funeral. <laughs> Take me to the king. Yes. <laughs> Never would have made. They should have played that shit. But in all seriousness and stuff, he said, well, you know, when Bud beat him, he was he was too old. He was too. They going to make some type of excuse. They always going to move the goalposts. Man, dude, I love how these ninjas live in the fantasy world. I love it how they live in the fantasy world. Mariah Carey ninjas. You know, <laughs> without my yellow peasy, my yellow boyfriend. <laughs> Come on, man, real ass. I can't stand that nigga, man. I can't stand them studio gangsters, man. Nigga, so they're gonna be making excuses after I, after I be Bud. It's gonna be they always gonna move the world post just like they did for Floyd. Nigga, you ain't Floyd. All you did was run up behind Keith Thurman. Every hole Keith Thurman hit, you wanted to hit it. Only hole you hit for real, for real, that Keith Thurman ain't hit was Ordenis Ugas. Let's keep it real. So he acted like, you know, he didn't did something significant. Running up in after after, after thoughts after Triple G then 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 tore him out the frame and, and Keith Thurman. Then tore him out the frame and act like he did something, nigga. Come on. Ninja, please. Negro, please. With dick sucking lips compared to beans you whack. And your man stab on and make you take the blame. Come on, man. You know, once I win, they just gonna move the goalposts, dude. They they elevate and celebrate everything you do. Oh, look at Earl. He did a dance in between, in between, before the round started. Oh, my God. Oh, look how he dances. Are you going to bring the shag back, Earl? Asking all these feminine questions. Give a fuck what, this, what his hair is. That weird ass shit them niggas was down there wearing, man. They still wearing throwback jerseys down there in Dallas and shit. <laughs> Motherfucker still wearing uh, uh, Cal Ripken and, and Michael Irvin throwback jerseys and shit, man. Fuck what y'all having in y'all head? Ain't no way them ninjas could have came out the house and said, "Well, I get all this cut, but leave a fro in the back of the head and say that shit was tough." Like fuck out of here! <laughs> oh man, ain't no way, bro. But I would rather them. I prefer him to wear them to keep the shag than these ninjas wearing mercies and fanny packs and shit. Yeah, keep the shag. Keep the shag. At least you got a caveman look instead of a ca instead of a, a, a Madonna look, looking like Kardashians and shit. Not ninjas getting BBLs and they getting plastic surgery like the women. Shit crazy. And you said, hey, you know, when I win, they always gonna move the goalposts, man, dude. They gonna act like you you beat motherfucking Goliath. They gonna act like you moved up and you defeated Tyson Fury, dude. You gonna get elevated and celebrated. They, 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 then they gonna be talking about well y'all said Crawford was number one and y'all say Crawford was this and then BJ just ran through him that motherfucker can win you know <laughs> by one point on every scorecard they, they can rob Terrence Crawford they gonna elevate and celebrate you so we ain't we ain't no fools bro he trying to use the reverse psychology and shit like, we should be the underdog look at everything that I've been through like your shit wasn't self-inflicted, bruh. These suburban dudes, they want to be gangsters so bad, bruh. But that's all, that's all, that's all that, that black stigma where, you know, every black person is supposed to be hood. And if you ain't hood or you ain't ghetto, you ain't street, then you really ain't a black person. That's farther, farthest from the truth, bruh. That's farthest from the truth. Ain't no, ain't no validation growing up in the hood at all. 
Ain't nothing but pain and heartache in this, in this shit. For real? In depression? <laughs> but yeah, man, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, dude. And nigga suspicious as hell, too, bro. I leave it at that. Oh, buddy, very suspicious. I ain't want to believe it, but I believe it. I believe it. And I leave it at that. And I really went back and watched that Ugas fire. I said, yeah, that motherfucker on there. Mm. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. I said what I said. I ain't want to believe it. Remember uh, Milk Dud? Earl, Earl barely took aspirin. I'm looking like, how you know what this nigga did to? Man. Like Jay-Z said, drink water. <laughs> Come on, man. What's the difference between the... 4.0 and 5.0, 35 and 40 G's, cocksucker. <laughs> Beat it. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, check out the box news playlist, check out the welterweight boxing uh, talk playlist. Hit the link tree, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Check out my new channel links in the description and the link tree. Peace.